हेलो एंड वेलकम टू जे के रखान सो फ्रेंड्स आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम वी आर बैक विद द लेटेस्ट अपडेट व्हिच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम इंडियन आर्मी रिगार्डिंग द ऑफिशियल नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ शॉर्ट सर्विस कमीशन फॉर मेन एंड वुमेन एंड फ्रेंड्स वी होप दैट यू आर डूइंग योर बेस्ट एंड बीटिंग द रेस्ट सो विद दिस वी आर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो सो फ्रेंड्स द ऑफिशियल नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ शॉर्ट सर्विस कमीशन दैट इज 63 कोर्स फॉर द मेन एंड 34 कोर्स फॉर द वुमेन हैज बीन डिक्लेयर्ड ऑन इंडियन आर्मी ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट एंड ऑल दोस इंजीनियरिंग ग्रेजुएट्स हु हैव कंप्लीटेड देयर इंजीनियरिंग इन डिफरेंट डिसिप्लिन्स एंड आल्सो दोस कैंडिडेट्स हु आर इन द फाइनल ईयर ऑफ देयर इंजीनियरिंग कैन आल्सो अप्लाई अंडर दिस शॉर्ट सर्विस कमीशन दैट इज ऑफिसर एंट्री ऑफ इंडियन आर्मी and friends in this video we shall discuss about the eligibility criteria of age as well as education and further we shall also discuss the selection process under this short service commission that how you can become an officer in indian army that is as a lieutenant so friends further one thing that i would like to make you clear that is there shall be no online examination shall be conducted under this short service commission for both men and women there shall be ssb interview which will be shortlisted on the basis of the marks that you have scored in and in your educational eligibility criteria so friends in this video we shall discuss all these details in a very comprehensive manner so that after watching this video everything shall be crystal clear in your mind so friends further you can see here on the indian army official website the official notifications are available here on the left hand side bottom corner you can see here officer entry applications open so you can directly download the official notification for short service commission that is technical men and women separately so further we are going to open the official notification of short service commission for both men and women so friends you can see here the applications are invited from eligible unmarried male and unmarried female engineering graduates and also from widows of indian armed forces defense personnel who died in harness for grant of short service commission and you can see here this course will commence in october 2024 at pre commissioning training academy so this is the basic information that you need to understand and further you can see here the age eligibility criteria so for both you can see here for men and women that is under 63rd and 34th So respectively you can see here the age eligibility criteria the minimum age should be 20 and maximum is 27 years as on 1st of october 2024 and you can see here if your date of birth is falling in between 0 to october 1997 and 01 october 2004 and if your date of birth is falling on these dates you are eligible to apply but if beyond then you are not eligible to apply and further you can see here the eligibility criteria for widows of indian armed forces as well further friends you can see here the educational eligibility criteria so you can see here all the engineering graduates who have completed their engineering or in the final year of engineering degree they are eligible to apply but for those candidates who are in the final year of engineering degree they are complete result should be declared by 1st of october 2024 and you can see here you need to produce the engineering degree certificate within 12 weeks from the date of commencement of training that is 1st of october 2024 so this is the information that you need to keep in your mind for the final year students that they need to submit the proof of passing engineering degree examination so you can see here here under the note 1 it is explicitly mentioned that all final year appearing candidates who whose final year or final semester examination will be scheduled after 1st of october 2024 or not eligible to apply for this course they can apply for the upcoming courses so further friends now we are directly for the about the number of vacancies that are there under the different disciplines of engineering this is the basic information you can read in between the line as per your requirement 
So further you can see here under the civil engineering short service commission technical 63rd for men. So friends firstly you can check here the core engineering stream is civil engineering. All the equipment streams that is civil engineering, civil engineering or structural engineering, building engineering and construction and similarly the other equivalent streams you can check here that is geo information and construction technology all these equivalent streams shall come under core engineering stream that is civil engineering. So you can see here 75 vacancies are there under civil engineering. And similarly you can check here for computer science 60 vacancies are there. And for the electrical 33 vacancies are there. And for the electronics 64 vacancies are there. And maximum number here under mechanical engineering. So you can see here. 101 vacancies are there for all mechanical automobile industrial or industrial engineering and many management so very uh, high number of vacancies are there under this course for mechanical that is 101 and similarly other miscellaneous engineering streams that is plastic technology and others you can see here 17 vacancies are there so friends total for short service commission technical men there are 350 vacancies are there for all engineering streams similarly for women you can see here under 34th course for civil engineering seven vacancies are there and similarly you can check for the computer science and for electrical and electronics and also the mechanical so total number of vacancies under short service commission for women 29 vacancies are there and further you can check here for the widows of defense personnel only as well so friends this is the eligibility criteria as well as the number of vacancies under the respective discipline and you can also read in between the line when you will shortlist for the ssb interview and after that when you will qualify the ssb interview and further shortlisting for the medical examination so after qualifying the medical examination you will be shortlisted or selected for the training so you can see here the duration of training shall be 49 weeks and you can also read the other services or the other facilities that you will get from the indian army so now we are moving ahead with the selection process. So you can come at the bottom of this notification and you can see here all these documents are mentioned here. So once you will get shortlisted for the SSB interview, these documents original as well as their Xerox copies are required to show at the respective SSB board. So friends, this is a selection process. So once you complete and submit your online application form under short service commission that is 63rd for men and 34th for the women before 21st of February 2024 at 3 p.m. Further, based on your educational qualification that is based on your engineering degree, you will get shortlisted for the SSB interview. But there is a criteria for the final year students, their marks up to six semesters shall be considered for shortlisting of SSB interview. And for engineering students who have completed their engineering, their marks up to final semester that is up to eight semesters shall be considered in order to get shortlisted for the SSB interview. But one thing that final year students keep in their mind that is after declaration of final results, the cumulative percentage of marks up to final semester or year of degree course will also be not less than the approved cutoff percentage for SSB shortlisting interview and failing which the candidature will be cancelled. So in a simple language, if the shortlisting percentage or the cutoff is 81 percentage for the mechanical, so your percentage that is a cumulative percentage for all the semester up to 8 semesters should not less than 81. Although your percentage shall be considered up to uh, 6 semester that is 81 percentage but your overall percentage should also be equal to 81 or more than 81 percentage. Otherwise your candidature will be 
कैंसल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ योर परसेंटेज अप टू सिक्स सेमेस्टर इज इक्वल और मोर देन एटी वन परसेंटेज बट योर ग्रॉस परसेंटेज अप टू फाइनल सेमेस्टर दैट इज अप टू एट सेमेस्टर इज लेस देन एटी वन परसेंटेज देन योर कैंडिडेट यू शैल बी कैंसल सो यू नीड टू कीप दिस थिंग इन योर माइंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो वंस यू कंप्लीट योर ऑनलाइन एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म बेस्ड ऑन योर एजुकेशनल डिग्री यू विल गेट शॉर्टलिस्ट फॉर द एस एस बी इंटरव्यू यू नीड टू रिपोर्ट एट द रिस्पेक्टिव एस एस बी इंटरव्यू एंड आफ्टर दैट योर एस एस बी इंटरव्यू दैट इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ फाइव डेज शैल बी कंडक्टेड देयर दैट इज स्क्रीनिंग डे वन दैट इज स्टेज वन एंड स्टेज टू द रिमेनिंग साइकोलॉजिकल जी टी यू एंड इंटरव्यू सो दिस कंप्लीट प्रोसेस शैल बी देयर एट योर रिस्पेक्टिव एस एस बी बोर्ड एंड वंस यू विल गेट क्वालिफाई द एस एस बी इंटरव्यू यू विल गेट शॉर्टलिस्टेड फॉर द मेडिकल एग्जामिनेशन एंड आफ्टर क्वालिफाइंग द मेडिकल एग्जामिनेशन यू विल बी सेलेक्टेड अंडर द शॉर्ट सर्विस कमीशन इधर फॉर सिक्सटी थर्ड और फॉर द थर्टी फोर्थ बेस्ड ऑन योर जेंडर so further friends this is the selection process that we have discussed here so once you will complete your online application form then after the official cut off percentage for your ssb interview shortlisting will be displayed on the indian army official website we shall discuss that as well but friends before that you need to complete your online application form before 21st of february at 3 pm so you need to apply as soon as possible and how to apply under the short service commission for that we have separate video and the link for that particular video shall be available in the description box you can go to that video understand the process apply under this short service commission and after that wait in order to get shortlisted for the ssb interview whole process we have discussed in this video still if you have any doubt in your mind you can put your doubt in the comment section we shall definitely get back to you within a possible time thank you friends have a great day ahead